a bit behind with the old blogger Rooney. I'm going to try and make a bit of a blog post tonight for you. Um, what I'm doing now, just out of interest, I'm going to make a bit of a video actually. Uh, it'll be a two minute one. I'm just putting uh, a nice LED light on my car here because it used to be like on a bracket hanging down. It looked like crap. So I just want to give you a quick sh a shabula at that. It's, it's pretty interesting. So yeah, guys and gals, that's, that's the i3 stripped. So it's not ideal because these are the original brackets which I had in a different configuration. And yes, people will say, why the hell have you only put one bolt in? Well, I have put shake proof washes on and I've put like spring washes on. And it's quite okay. In an ideal world, it should have a central um, triangulated bracket there for sure. And maybe I will make something, but uh, my mother-in-law's made plov. Which is my favourite food and I want to get home. So everything's tucked in there, no zip ties, just really good fleece tape so nothing rubs it's against no sharp parts. Wiring was kind of tidied up. Uh, yes, I could probably do a much better job and I, I usually do and I will get back and make it even tidier but for now uh, I really need to get home. I really need to get home so what I've done here with the bumper because I've had to chop a lot, a lot of the reinforcing layers come out, the wiring used to go there Here's the sensors, and I'm going to have to do something with this now and make these waterproof before I go home. I'll probably just backfill these with some replast. Uh, that's the only issue. They're a bit exposed, really. Um, but I had to have it like that. That's the only way this would go because you can't put it at the bottom because you've got them air flaps there, so you've just no chance. So the only place it can go is here. And it was doing me heading because I used to have it on this stupid bracket here. I mean, look at the size of it. It looked like some different 1970s, like off an Elman Avenger or something. You know what I mean? So I didn't want that. I didn't want that. So now we just, we've adjusted it, as you've seen. It's quite reasonable, I think. What we'll do now, we'll just, uh, yeah, drill through there. Just thought I'd show you there. There's a spring washer on the back as well. Put a big piece of rubber there so it didn't go through, and, you know. So it's looking pretty good, isn't it, really? I give these a touch of underseal as well. Not too much because they get hot in summer and... Uh, obviously it'll melt and I greased them last year. Everything's exposed. There's no panelling on that. It's This is the heat pump system for the air conditioning. It's very complicated. Uh, it's multiple expansion valves on it. But you've seen one of my other videos about that. Right, I'm going to build it up because the wife, uh, wife's mum has made me some beautiful food and I'm, I really want to get home. That's why I undersealed it before. Look, it's all um, shut nicely. Right, so let's put this on and build it up. It's enough on any BMW just to wake it up with the key usually. Yeah. So it's woke up, it's the can is switched on there. Whatever car you work on, you'll have to get a wiring diagram and identify can I and can low. Luckily for me, I had some tails last time on here, what I left. I was gonna sell the car, you see, and I took all this off. This won't be left like this, I'm not an animal. This is gonna be uh, very, very good. So what we'll do now, for the first time, because I haven't actually even tested this yet, is we'll um, we'll connect it to the lamp and we'll see if it works. I'm a bit nerve wracking really, because obviously, I don't know if it's gonna work because it was last year when I had it on. So in theory, it should, it should be right now. Uh, everything's a bit, looks like crap, but when it's done later, I'll show you what it looks like. It's gonna look very sexy and nice. Right, good, so. Now we'll see if it works. I don't know if it's going to be enough just to, to flash from there, really. Oh, that works, Jesus Christ. There we are. <laughs> Very bright. So all we need to do now with that is uh, set the aim on it. My God, it's bright. So this is uh, the Kinect website. It's I'll put a link down below as to the company who make this. It's a UK company and as with everything British, it's the best. So it's not from China, it's made and I believe it's made in the UK. And it happened so fast that once I connected it up, it didn't even have time to search for can, it just instantly went green. But then again, it was on my car last year. So when it's green, which ours is, it's recognized everything. It even knows the vehicle type. It's so clever, it's amazing. It's about 70 euro, it's wonderful. Right, here's a good demonstration. I'm in, I'm in the, the workshop and everything's off. Jesus Christ, it's all right, is that, isn't it? I think that'll uh, do the job on way home, don't you? Jesus, it's good. So it's 17,000 lumens, this. I had it on last year, but I weren't happy the way I had it set up. Anyway. Looking good, that, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's finish well, it I off. Think in the end, uh, I think in the end it turned out quite reasonable. 
I'll tidy up them gaps, but I'm, I'm going to keep the gaps because I want to have some airflow running running the side of it because it gets hot. That's a big hot one. Um, Seventeen thousand lumens. It ain't going to stay that cool. So yeah, I know what you're thinking. The washer reservoirs there, but really underneath there, there's so much corrosion on top of the battery that water always tends to drip through there. The only dry place, believe it or not, I know it's hard to believe, is actually there. That's the best place. It doesn't get any water there. And it's gonna have a cover. It has a cover, same as that side. It's not much of a cover, really, to be honest. But that's really the only way I can do it. And what I'll do, I'll probably just give it a quick little bit of under seal, just to give it, you know, on the wires, like, just to give it a bit of extra protection. But I had it like that for one and a half years last time when I had that stupid stand on. And to be honest, it's quite reasonable. It didn't get so wet there. So yeah, there you are, that's it. It's my opinion, it's quite reasonable. I think it looks damn good, actually. So, you're all lucky, because I'll just switch the front camera one minute. I'm down here, checking it out. So you're all dead lucky, aren't you? Because I'm going to have a wash now, tidy my tools away, and then I'm going to go home. Don't worry about that 8 series, that 850. It's, uh, there's a reason it's like that. <laughs> that car, I've probably already told you, this one, 8 series, its suspension's been sent away to Poland because it's the only company in the world who can rebuild old original edc it's worth thousands and you can't even buy them anymore so other than coilovers rebuilding the originals is the way to go so that's just i just thought i'd let you know the reason it looks like that is we can't leave it's been already two months here like that we can't afford to have a ramp out of action just for one car that's potentially thousands of pounds a week that we, we're not going to get money for so that's why it's carefully on pallets that's the only way we could do it um it looks a bit dodgy but it's perfectly okay i assure you as I was saying, you lot are going to be dead lucky because you're going to come on a nice journey with me. I'll, I live in the countryside, as you know, not far from Helsinki. Uh, I'll uh, pull up at some point and I'll put my me, me, um, camera on in the uh, Shibula Jackson mode and you'll, be, you'll see how, how bright everything is. Right, I'm going to have to have a wash. I need to, I'm so hungry. Mother-in-law's made plov, as I've, as I've told you. Um, and I just can't wait. I'm bloody starving, hungry Christ. Then I'll try and throw this blog together because I've been neglecting it. I'm just busy as crap, honestly. Too busy. Got a good name for us, aren't I? Well, you see? Another day. Another dollar. I'm knackered. It's getting cold now. It's about ooh, five degrees, four degrees, something like that. Lovely dark nights. You know what? You might be surprised, you lot who watch this blog. Very often, you might think I love summer. And I do love summer. Believe me, I love it. But you know what I love the most? Not many people know this. Autumn, for some reason. Goes back to England as a kid, you know, with fireworks night, bonfire night and that. That's what it goes back to. Just check I've got everything now. Bloody murder for keys, me, I swear to God. Do you know what I hate the most about when people do stuff? They've got a BMW app on this. It just cut my camera off, that's what it was. It's, um, when the app starts, it cuts the camera off. And I've got no way of stopping it. It just bloody starts, like, about two seconds after my phone comes on. I keep forgetting about it. Right, shall we have a, shall we check out this uh, Shibula now? Oh, we'll choose then, shall we? What? Well, my dash cam isn't very good. In fact, it's crap. Not doing a right good job. Sorry about this, you've not got such a good view, but what can you do kind of thing? Yeah, the aim's too low, basically. It, uh, it's good, don't get me wrong, but I need to do a lot of adjusting, basically. It's, uh, yeah, it's bright, but it's bright, too bright on the road surface, in my opinion. The phone cradle looks like it's banging around all over the place. It's not a very good one, really, unfortunately to get a better one. It's like a centered mount, you know, for the car. Not bad though, is it? Powerful as buggery. But we need to uh, do something with it. Steaming up a bit here now. It's certainly excellent. But, uh, yeah, unfortunately I would say it needs to be a, need to lift that tomorrow now and lift it higher. I mean it's it's good enough, I mean it's a good car, this has got LED lights anyway, so it's pretty good, but with this <laughs> it's about 18, 19,000 lumens I guess, maybe twenty thousand with everything added up. 
it's a bit literally like daylight here, really, in my opinion. But yeah, it's good, isn't it? Because at the end of the day in Finland, there's that many animals on roads. It's a nature reserve here, so we have deers and everything like So what I did, I turned the, um, I parked up and basically I uh, thought I'd uh, change the position of the mount, so I've got it behind the speed all now. <laughs> it's meant to be like daylight. Jesus Christ. It's like unbelievable, but that's just me normal headlights, that. That's the light. It's like glaring that much. It's like daylight, literally. So, <laughs> it's like bloody daylight. So, yeah, it's certainly... Oh, it's good. It's better than it used to be, because when he had the Talbot Horizon, Talbot Sunbeam mount on, it bloody freaking bounced around, it vibrated, it rolled, but it's bloody solid is this one now, to be fair, with them two bolts at least, it's pretty damn good, so we'll see what happens anyway, certainly, do, <laughs> certainly does the job, doesn't it, Jesus Christ. Well, I hope you enjoyed that blog post, uh, I changed my jacket as well, because it's absolutely freezing cold now, it's uh, about, my, it's minus 0 0.5, so it's just hovering above 0, uh oh, that's a good thing about energy diagnosis. Light goes out, doesn't it, straight away. So I've put light back on. I don't edit stuff anymore. I probably would have done that again in the past, but I'm not so bothered anymore. I just carry on doing it. It's all part of fun, isn't it? Yeah, so I've not, I hadn't done a blog post for some time, and uh, I've just been busy. I did, I did a long form video, you notice, on, on the other day. It's doing quite well. Uh, people seem to like it about the using the oscilloscope to check the timing. So make sure you check that one out. Um, I'll try and do them weekly, but I've I've not been doing it because I've uh, I've been busy really. To be fair, um, I have that LinkedIn account as well. I have a group on there, the Almec group. There's nearly 600 members. I have 2,000 members on the newsletter, so I have all that going on. I have ma I do magazine writing as well for PNM Professional Motor Magazine in the UK, and sometimes for Car Mechanics Magazine. Uh, although uh, I, I need to probably get another one in with them soon. Um, but it all takes time collating that information and building up these case studies. So I've got all that on. But good news is, I'm taking more work on because, you know, typical me, work a bloody alec. A uh, friend of mine, Danny, is a really amazing fault finder in the UK. Uh, lovely, well-spoken lad from the South, London area or whatever. We're going to do a podcast on Spotify about, it's just two mechanics, basically. It'll be about an hour each each episode, I think. And we'll probably do it every two weeks to start with. And then maybe weekly if we get enough interest. And we're not going to make any money out of it because you need to um, to have one million downloads, you get a thousand euro. So it's 500 quid each. So let's be honest, if you, you know, a million downloads is impossible for people like us. <laughs> so we'll make nothing out of it. But what I do want is I just want people to kind of like enjoy what we talk about. I see so much stuff. Like today, I had one guy write me like nearly two pages of crap. I'm, I didn't even read it. No, I read it. Of course, I read it. It's my job to do that, but, you know, I, I didn't really, you know, why would you do that, like, two pages of writing? I, I'm not really in Finnish as well, so I have to understand that. So, I want to make a, this podcast so we can talk about stuff like that, and we can have a bit of a laugh as well. You can't all be serious stuff. I'll be honest, I'm a bit depressed, really, with what's going on in the world, what's happened in Israel last week, which sickened all of us. Uh, I'm not going to go into it because this isn't really the forum. It is our space, and I want to just talk about car stuff. But it does affect me, and I'm sure it affects you guys and girls. You know, these lunatics in the world. It's not just them. It's everything going on in Ukraine as well. Like nobody seems to have any common sense or brains anymore. No one's, you know, everyone wants to pursue their own agenda, and everyone seems to be like, no one can stop people from being like just evil and stupid. So it just does me head in a bit. So I'm, I'm a bit depressed with it all. It's a bit too much, really. And I've lost my interest and um, I've lost my enthusiasm for doing videos. I had to basically force myself to make this video tonight. And it's a bit sad that, isn't it? But such is the mad world we live in. But bollocks to him, basically. I say, let's just keep doing our thing and let's keep making videos. You guys and gals keep watching and please share and subscribe. And my channel's be a thousand subscribers soon, I'm pretty sure of it. Which is amazing. I didn't think I'd even get 500 or even 100 at first, so... Kudos to all you lot who think um, I'm worth bothering with because I think I'm just a bit of a boring person. I nearly said something else beginning with Peter. No, I'm just an average mechanic, aren't I? I'm, I'm pretty good at fault finding. I'm reasonably good at mechanical. I, I, workmanship level's good, I would say. I don't cut corners like mostly everyone does. 
No, I'm a bit like Fred Dibner. We're living in a world of like bloody hot standards have gone to crap and everyone, no one gives a shit anymore, do they? Let's be honest. It's like, that's how it is. So, I'm sure I'll be better tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm going to go and watch MasterChef now. I'm going to go and watch MasterChef with wife and mother-in-law and I'm going to chill out. And um, yeah, I'm signing off. I hope you like my spotlight. It's bright, isn't it? It's like the bloody... It's, Making my eyes hurt because it's hitting the tarmac too much. It's reflecting back. So tomorrow I'll tweak it up two or three degrees. I thought it would have been cool if I'd have, actually thinking about it. If I'd have welded, left them uh, threaded screws kind of a bit loose. Um, and if I'd have welded some threaded like nuts on, I could have had some very, very long adjustable bolts sticking through them gaps, couldn't I? You know, like... Basically, I could put a spindle drive across the top to connect them all together and have one central adjuster up, right? That would have been good, wouldn't it? That way I could have could permanently adjust it without having to mess around behind the bumper again. I wish I'd have done that now, but whatever. I hope you liked it anyway. I certainly enjoyed doing that spotlight. I'll tidy it up this week and get rid of them gaps on the sides and everyone will be happy and no one will give me any crap then for, making, for hacking my bumper to bits. It looks quite reasonable. I mean... Just a bumper sticks out dead far and it's not flush. If it was a flush, flat bumper, you'd have no gaps. You'd only have them with little vertical gaps. You won't have these deep gaps. Anyway, never mind. Right. I'll make another video soon, I promise you. And make sure you watch my long videos because there's some good ones there. See you all later. Thanks.